Well, undoubtedly, there has been no shortage of Sturm und Drang concerning the performance of the stock market in the first quarter of the year. But if we really look at it in context, the S&P 500 was down something in the neighborhood of four, I think it was 4.6%, so less than 5%, uh, after three consecutive years increasing in excess of 20%. So I don't think that it should be much of a surprise that we're having a little bit of a pullback and also a bit of change in terms of the style of the, the types of stocks that have been performing. And what I'm referring to is the rotation between value and growth stocks. And of course, the, the single biggest value rotation that, that's out there in the market right now has been energy. Um, energy, I believe in the first quarter, it was the only sector that registered a positive return. And it was a sector that had been in the doldrums for years and years and had become very, very inexpensive. And so if you look at things from a value perspective, the fact that energy has had the, the very strong rebound that it has, that in and of itself would, would prompt that sort of growth versus value reversal. You know, the Federal Reserve clearly needs to act in response to the inflation numbers that we've seen over the past several months. There certainly was a strong hope that this inflation would turn out to be transitory and we'd be back to a more normalized inflation environment. That has yet to happen. So it's not it unexpected that we would see some market response to that increase in interest rates and also that we would see some difference in the types of companies that respond to that environment. Interest rates have rapidly risen to historic levels that are very atypical. To give you an idea, the two-year treasury was a little over about 25 basis points or a quarter of a percent. At the end of the first quarter of 2022, it is over 2.3%. That is over a 740% increase. These are substantial changes, particularly in the front end of what we call the curve, meaning the short, short maturity, such as the two years and so forth. And that reflects central banks' policy changes to get in front of inflation, and it's material. The end of first quarter marks the seventh anniversary of Saturna Sustainable Funds, and we're delighted and honored to continue in this endeavor with you on the sustainable bond front. We've been working diligently to systematically reduce risk well into the early parts of fourth quarter. We expect some more chop to be coming, but quite frankly, we've built a large cash positions and flexibility to really find this as an opportunity to really drive longer term performance. Performance data quoted herein represents past performance and is no guarantee of future results. Investment return and principal value of an investment will fluctuate so that an investor's shares, when redeemed, may be worth more or less than their original cost. Current performance may be significantly higher or lower than data quoted herein. Performance current to the most recent month end can be obtained by visiting SaturnaSustainable.com or by calling toll-free 1-800-728-8762. Please consider an investment's objectives, risks, charges, and expenses carefully before investing. To obtain this and other important information, which you should carefully consider before investing, about the Saturna Sustainable Funds in a free prospectus or summary prospectus, please visit SaturnaSustainable.com or call 1-800-728-8762.